good times on it is tuesday means we're doing not long stream because i had to be up in the morning but we are going to pick up where we left off last night and finish down to him as much as we can <clears throat> last we started we got like a lot of crap done and hopefully tonight we will fin either finish it or get very close But as always, get yourself a drink, a, yeah, a drink, drink and a snack. Get yourself comfortable and situated, and uh, we'll begin shortly. over to everything. Oop. Oop. Capture. Ba -ba -boom. All right. Game. So yeah, last. Oh. Uh, last we played, we did a lot of journal things. We did a lot of the uh, side quests. We have to go back to Dopak, who is the, uh, the mercenary that we met, and tell him that Zedon does do the thing. Suspicious as it is, we're going to do it. We trust Zeron. We have no reason to trust him, but we do. He seems like a stand-up guy. Once we are clear of the area, we can hopefully wrap up down to nice and clean tonight. I like how we've been able to, so far for the playthrough, I've been able to like keep each stream for like a half of a planet. So like every two episodes, a planet is finished. It's nice. you yo so you managed to get all the salvage eh that's our livelihood you're stepping on you should watch yourself Ooh. what do you do around here i've been here the longest and i'll be here last i buy jedi salvage from the ruins slow business now but i get by uh who do you sell to sometimes i sell them to visitors like yourself besides that's none of your flaming business can I see what Jedi artifacts you have for sale? You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got. I'm kind of waiting for it to kick in and see if it does or not. I don't think it is. Well, that. <laughs> Welcome to a 2000 something game where, you know, everything borks eventually. Reset the game. No problem. Problem solved. Once again, take two.
Oh, it didn't auto save. Wait, really? Oh, the court. Okay. I'm like, what do you mean it didn't auto save? Now I know why. Again, I wish I could fast travel. Solve so many problems. Also, let's just get this part of the map filled in. Good enough. this a second time because I don't trust the game we're doing that all right try this again actually first I'm gonna to talk to you guys Jaren says you saved him down there next time you should ask for a reward I did I feel much better now thanks to you I don't think I thank you properly down there I was pretty shaken I really hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. I meant what I said about no returns, though. I need the money to go home. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Uh, what were you going to... Uh, no, I'll be going. You nothing to talk about. Never mind. But there might have been. What? Who is that? Oh, it's you. So, you managed to get all the salvage, eh? Yes, I That's did. That's our livelihood you're stepping on. You should watch yourself. Um, what do you do around here? I've been here the longest. You have? I'll be here last. Probably. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. What do you sell to? Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. Can I see what artifacts you have? You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got. This is like a bug I need to be aware of. Problem. Antoine bug. Um. Retort. Uh. Um. the storage room. Okay, here we go. Uh, does she have any bug? Uh, Those Jedi artifacts such as crystals, robes, lights of parts, though, with Hachimaya are priced in average market. However, since the artifacts is in the war, it's possible that Sorek had bought some from her. Um player is not aware of the truth and gives corpses a dollar, she would offer the player a reward. The player could turn the reward down, gives them light side points to climb the alternative when the player finds them. They might have the option to change the will, blah blah blah, results on dark side points involving personal gain and or interfering with the dead person's last wishes. No matter the choice the player makes regards first battle of Dantooine. Thank them for crafting. Oh, okay. Does not seem to have any like implied bugs, so I guess I just can't talk to her. Well, that just sucks. I saved outside, like, outside that area. It's still dumb, though. Like, what the fuck? Launch the game. Thank you.
All right, so if that's the case, through her, I guess we're not talking to her, and we're going to just skip on over to um, the mercenaries. Still want to make fucking Theodore fucking Jedi. He is the hardest one to convert. It annoys me every time. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's been a long time since we've had a paying job. Some of us are getting jumpy. I have a message for you from Zadon. What does the militia have to say to us? Any of our men get into trouble? He says, go ahead. I think that Zeron is three cards short of a Pazak deck. You can tell him you've delivered your message. Thanks. Now get out of here. Okay. That was easy. Um... Yeah. <laughs> we'll put those back now. The planes. Where's this spit me out? Oh. So, okay. The enclave's over here. The mercenary's over here. Okay. Okay. Wait, that means all we have to do is use the uh, form to saw master with his bones over the under planes. Yep, which I'm going to now. Okay, that's all I can really do. Okay, cool. Well, then let's go do the thing and save the look. Charge. Oh, hello. Uh, did we get that one? Nope, we didn't. Okay. Thought he was a corpse. Up, 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 up. Force field, the prisoner of those mercenaries. He regards you without expression. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. Um, let's see. So the mercenaries are branching out into kidnapping. This isn't kidnapping, this is bounty hunting. This Jedi is worth a lot of credits on Urshada, and we're collecting. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead. Leave now. Um, let's see. I love how it's like all these threatening responses then. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Defend yourself then. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! Well, I figured that would give me a um, thing for HK. Oh well. Excuse me. I am more angry. So I'm not. wave. Take them down. Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. <sighs> Always a pleasure, Vrook. I see you still have your cheery disposition. Is this a joke to you? People's lives are at stake. Every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. 
The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. Is it the same careful time you were counting on the Mandalorian Wars? It can only be one Jedi. Did you think rushing into battle against the Mandalorians did anything but bring more harm to the galaxy? It only served to bring about a second war more dangerous than the first. Countless Jedi died in both conflicts, and everyone who followed Revan and Malak died or returned to the dark side. Except conveniently you. Um, let's see. By the time the Council acted, the Republic would have been torn apart. Revan and Malak were misguided, but without them, we would have always speak Mandalorian. I like that one. Um. Yeah, no, Revan and Re Malak were wrong. 100%, they were wrong. But without them, the Republic would have fell. Revan acted. You acted. There's no way of knowing what would have happened had you trusted in the Council. Much like what you have done today. Enough of this. This is not the time for such arguments. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always great to see you too, Varuk. Also, hi, Robert. How you doing? Ooh, a riot. What's a kin? Why is there Kinrath remains in here? Hmm. I don't think those were there when I came in. Those are, um, battleship shells. Security tunnel, nice. This data pack contains the orders of Zat from. I'm making a computer case model after HK47. That's fucking sick. Are you like custom making the outside parts or is it already being made that way for you? Let's see, I think that's all of it. Okay, just get the. Okay. I imagine if you have to make them yourself, that must be stressful. Dollarama at Kirker cookie sheets. Hmm. Oh, that's what you're using. I was like, wait, what? I thought I had a stroke and I was just misreading something for a minute. Yeah, no, at, I, I read it a second time. I'm like, oh, wait, okay, that makes more sense. No, it's still cool though. Like, is it going easy or is it kind of like a struggle? As one who's built my PC, I didn't do anything custom like that. I understand the stress of building the everything. Thankfully, cases are usually the easiest. So many crystals and shit. Teflon coated soap bonds. Easy. There you go. Are you going to be water cooling it or um, using fans? Personally, water cooling still scares the living shit out of me. I've been using like PCs for like all my life. People who use water cooling are just men. I'm always terrified that it's going to like ru get ruined. I'm just getting rid of the thing. I have many fans and LEDs. Oh, nice, nice. I, I keep going back and forth if I want LEDs in a PC. You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am as... Currently, I don't have any. ...leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. You're so original. And, um... I've learned that you're planning an assault on Kunda. That is correct, and I want you to help me. And why would I do that? According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. 
If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantweave, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. Ooh, pays well. Um, what do you have in mind? There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Um, okay, I'll help you. Return to me when you are ready for us I to begin our assault. I warn you not to keep me waiting. And a legend once foretold of a man with fire wreck. Hi, Mike. That was Mass Effect. Never stops. Never just say hi, huh? No, you really can't. Gotta go on in and talk to the administrator. Then do a crap lot of preparation for a fight. Because I don't want people flipping out. I see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's yeah, told did. me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I yeah, can't well. say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Rook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. Yeah. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zeron says that, that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Who knows about the attack? Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. What can I do to help? Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides I'm an assassin that, and look an around engineer. Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. Um, can you give me anything to help? I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Yeah, I figured. Okay. I'll check out the defenses then. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. Sounds like a plan. Who set this place up? Bet you just feel stupid. Zeron was right about the mercenaries all along. I guess my ego clouded my judgment of. Yeah. Um. Let's ask you some questions. Uh, let's see. How long have you been here? What do you know about the mercenaries? Nice banter. Try to try the same line on everyone. Eh, no, I guess not. Okay. I figured I could try getting him to try serving. But I guess not. Oh, can't open that one. Here it is. What have we got in here? Full station. Whoops. See if we can get this, the turrets fixed up. Um, yep, one spike. 
Uh, turret status. Turrets are active in such a fire on friendlies and hostiles pretending change target priority. Um, only hostiles. We do not want to attack allies. I think get my security. See, I can do individually. Oh, I can just do this. Uh, automated healing, modified. Uh, I feel better. Thanks. Yeah, you're all better now. Good job, you guys. Good for you. Private. Yes, here we go. This is what I'm going to need um, band or the most. I have a lot of defense stuff. Let's go. Uh, reactivate part. Yep, yep. Programming. Oh, okay. Uh, reactivate part. Take the hydro spanner. One, two, um. Get this one going. One. Ready to serve. Are you, though? Like, you don't serve very well. Slice, uh, defense status, defend friendlies, yep. Oh, it's on alert. Okay. They'll be good, so not gonna worry about that. Um, the door's here. What updates did you do for HK47? What updates did I do? What do you mean what updates did I do? Welcome back. Is oh, I'm still working on I it. Can do for you? Um, currently we're at the part where he's telling that Revan didn't view the view the Republic was a threat. Thanks for the help. I plan on going back to the farm shortly. Be going now. Do I have to talk to Zeron and ask to do that part? I have to ask Zeron what uh, my. I was right about you. You are trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? Any ideas what I can do to help? We could use people handy with a blaster. Getting people to join the militia for a short stint would be good. We also got a lot of things that could use fixing. It isn't glamorous, but that type of work sometimes makes a load of difference. Just look around. Plenty to be done. Uh, what kind of things need fixing? Off the top of my head, the three turrets outside Kunda are on the blink. They went haywire the other day and wounded some of my men, so we took them offline. The men who were wounded by the turrets are holed up in the med lab. But our medic droid is busted, so they're healing slowly. I've had some men lay traps around Kunda, but nobody here really specializes in demolitions. I'm sure there's some gaps that could be filled. The side security door to Kunda has been malfunctioning as long as I've been here. It may be best to just seal it off lockdown so nobody gets through. We got some broken assault droids that have been collecting dust for the last done, five years. Done. If they were working, it would help a lot with interior defense. If I had it my way, I'd recruit any citizen of Kunda that can hold a blaster. But it's hard to convince peaceful farmers to fight. Maybe die for a cause. All right, um... How much time do I have? I don't know for certain. It could be a day or even a week. Depends on how good Azkul is at organizing his men. I'm guessing not so good. All right. Um, I'm going to see what I can do. When you're ready, come back and we can talk about the final plans to defend Kunda. Okay, so we got the we got most of us done. Got to get some people to work with us. Thanks for the help. I plan on going back to the farm shortly. Would you be interested in joining Kunda Militia? Since you're asking me, I suppose I could. I figure I still owe you for helping me with my thief problem. No problem. Teron has asked me several times before to join the militia. I expect he's going to be very pleased. Hey, person's a person, like. 
do not um, underestimate your importance to the cause. But you know, um, because I'm a light side character, getting HK's influence is very hard. And Beador and HK are pretty much the last two I need to do. <laughs> Would uh would you would you be interested in joining the militia? Okay. It's not gonna be happening from you. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. I think I can talk to the woman outside. I think she can join it if we ask nicely. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Bad, are you okay? Um, do you know who Garavik is? Da, da, da. Nope. Okay, I could ask you. Bad was just having a hard time. No, I think I can. But yeah, I think I can ask Dylan. What do you want now? Would you be interested in joining the militia? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not too fond of my job, but it's better than the job I'd have if the Mercs took over. I'll report to Zeron for militia duty. That's two. So gotta fix the door over here, talk to the Celestron. And I think that's the only other people we can talk to. I don't oh no we can ask Joran. I remember he can um uh versus security get the pride open. And now I can I think we can open and close. Do, 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 do. Ooh, shit. Oh, crap, there's a lot of stuff in here. Opponents. The dueling shield. Ooh, nice. Like, I know generally you're supposed to, like, seal the door, but I never take the stuff in here. I want to change that. Skill system, I wonder what that does. Never got one of those. Okay, those are good. Jesus Christ, there's so much stuff in these. Why have I never checked these lockers? Stuck door. Oh, it appears it's stuck closed. Okay. We got that done. Sorry, this door is blocked off. No, it's not. Fixed it. I do just speak again. Um, I found this hydro spanner. It has your name on it. Out of a broken droid. What's your explanation? Or actually, no, you don't toy with me. I know you've been stripping out these parts for and selling like them. Um, tell me. Let's 
let's see. Um, what, will, what will you give me for keeping your crime? Why? You know, you're interested in the militia. Like, <laughs> you're gonna fight for being an asshole. You put everyone at risk, so we're throwing you into the militia. Uh, the Noxious port here, the uh, control from Kuhn is inside. No, nope. okay. Um, what else? I think that's really all we can do. So I got three people. Um, more traps outside. Okay, we can do that. I can put down some mines. Flash mine, frag mine. Put down some plasmas. Put those down. Go to the other side. Maybe place. Uh, it's going cool. Ready to serve. You do, yeah, you can do deadly. So we're gonna do deadly. I think HK has all the demolition skills because I don't fucking do it. Crude but effective. <laughs> Crude but, but effective. Deadly Sonic. No, we need deadly. Crude but effective. West Minefield has enough mines now. I'll say that. I think I said big. Did, no, I didn't. Did not say that the east side had enough. Okay, let's go put some more. I guess. Crude but effective. And, like some over near this door because it's open. Crude but effective. effective. Put some over here near this door. Actually, no, we're just gonna add to this one. Crude but effective. 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 How many mines can I play? Like I can't I shouldn't be allowed to place this many. Crude but effective. Yeah, that's apparently all I can place. Okay. Place most different character? Nope. Okay. Thought I could just place most a different character. That would have been cool. So we can play more trains outside, I post it to my traps near the way. Where the other traps are set in the east and west sides of Kunda. Um, I don't think there's anyone else I can ask to help. Unless I can ask the old dude near the, um, near the Ebonhawk. I don't think he's capable of fighting, though. Is he? Probably not. Yo, old dude. Tarn. You again. What do you want? I'm busy. Which is he joined the militia? Nope, I'm way too busy to die. That's a millennial mood if I've ever heard one. Okay. Let's go ask um Joran, because let's be real, he owes us one. The least Joran can do is um serve the cause. Ugh. Do, do, do. I still think of all the planets um, in the vanilla game. Dantooine had to have been one of the, the least uh, interesting for KOTOR 2. Which is really sad, because this could have been a lot more fun and had more things to do, but I don't know, just, they didn't. That's unfortunate. Go talk to Joran, let's go talk to Joran. I don't think what's her name will help. I think I think Dor Dorn's the only one. 
I feel much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thanked you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I really hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. I meant what I said about no returns, though. I need the money to go home. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Uh, when you join the militia? I hadn't even thought of that. I know the militia will take just about anyone. <laughs> I need the credits and would like working with people who'll actually watch your back. Well, I want to think it through, but... I think I might just go to Kunda and sign up. Thanks for the idea. Yeah, no problem. I don't think you're gonna do it, so I'm not gonna bother. Now we can head back. I think we got everyone. We got one, two, three. We got four for the militia. We got the traps down. We got the turrets. We got the robots. Uh, that's pretty much all I think we can really do. Yeah, I think that's really it. Which works for me. We also talked to Dopek already, which means him and Zeron are planning their little scheme. Um, we fixed that. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Um... Yeah, that's really all we can do. Okay, this took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. All right, Zeron, let's go. Actually, hold on. Can I ask um, a disciple? Welcome back. Is there anything else I can do for you? Nope, guess not. Um, wait, I, I want to switch Bandor's weapon. You got a Force Pike. I kind of want to give him. Nope. I want to give him that. Yeah, let's give him that. Um, strength. Ooh, give him the three. Damn. Nope, it's a class three, so we keep that. Class three. Bonus seven. You know, we're going with that one. It's just better. Pick up what we got for that. Um, nope. I think that's all we can really do. That's a plus three for humans. Reflex and dex. Defense plus two. Oh, I guess that's all we can really do. Okay. Need like better weapons. 212, 110, 215. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, wait. That's a blaster pistol. Never mind. No, I guess not. Okay. They got a check. I can upgrade at the, the workbench, though. I think um, HK's weapons can be updated. Upgrade items. Yes. Give him that. Assault rifle. That one. This. That. Collection admitter. Attack plus one. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even need to read all of it. I'm just like, no. I know what that is. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm switching it because I want a purple saber. I want, I want my, uh, uh, yeah. Purple and white actually kind of works, never mind. I'm not saying it's because I'm a dummy. Hmm. 
Boom. Okay. Had to answer something. All right, Zeron, let's do this. I was right about you. Yes, I you was. You are trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? Yes. Um, I'm ready. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. Yeah, I'm certain I've done all I can. All right. Then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. Go on. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. It isn't going to be easy. I suspect we're going to have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances they're going to try and break in. There's the front door, yep. the security door on the side, yep. and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have hey, to hey. fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Um, the first squad should be the back, covering two entrances. The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? Second should be main entrance. All right. Where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? They should be with the administrator. Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. I am taking the back. The back? I suppose that there is more ground to cover with the two entrances. All right. I'll take the front. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Yep. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's yeah, about are. it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Uh, have you talked with the men? Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. I think they could use some encouragement. Maybe I could speak to them. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. I can speak well. Um, let's see, remind them the friends and family they're counting on them, warn them to <laughs> tell them they're doomed. Tell them that this is a chance to make history. Dantooine's short history has been a constant tale of rugged people summoning diff surmounting difficult odds. Never have the odds been so great, or the future so uncertain. But today is your chapter, your tale. Generations yet born will look upon the upcoming battle with pride and wonder. I will not lie, the risks are great. The threat is real. But I would stand beside any of you proudly as we face our destiny on this field of battle. This is our day, our valiant chance to free Dantooine. Who will fight with me? I ain't got most of them. Nice. Only those two assholes in the corner. Fuck I them. don't have the words. That was really something. I think any one of them would take a blaster bolt for you now. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dantooine falls with us. Which is funny because it's a huge planet, so it's like, why the hell is it Tell all in one place? See, soldier. They're immobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. That's right. Try to come across the bridge and don't get fucked up. I'm going to want HK and um, Beador. Because these are the two I need most influence with. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do. 
Um, let's see. Really quick. Usable. Stimulant. Give us all the boosts. Up. Up. Uh, let's give him the mass. Yeah, give him the master one. All right. Armor. Shining shield. Shield. Ability grid. Let's go. Oh, that was just all kinds of crazy. Dude, like half of these people are the fucking mines. Here they come. They want more. So many of them. We've lost too many soldiers. Fall back inside. Responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see, she needs eliminated that. Give me a reason to get out of your way. We could kill you, but I think you'd slaughter at least four of my men. Recruitment fees are 250 credits per man. So 1,000 credits for us to avoid the hassle of replacing those men. Do we have a deal? Four of your men, that's an insult. You look capable for a Jedi. Fine, a full squad of eight then, 2,000 credits. How much is your life first worth? You'll die first. That isn't a possibility. This is going nowhere. You could have lived. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. Just another dead Jedi to me. I didn't sign on for this cold blooded slaughter, Asko. I was wondering when you would betray me, Dobak. I'll send your final wages to your children, along with a detonator. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Hi, Brooke. Nice to see you too. Alright. Where's my wave? There's my wave. <laughs> Quickly just fuck this. Um there, one there. This one. What's this? Plus three bonus to all deflection rolls. Yes. Because I I need to deflect a lot. Um, destroy droid? Uh, yeah. Thank 
you so much for your aid. You can be sure that Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this. Um. I'm happy to help. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. 4,000 credits will do. Yeah. Um. Thank you again, brave Jedi. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dantooine will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, good, good for you. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. Um, where are all the Jedi? There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. Where are these other Jedi? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. I've already met with Zezkael upon Narshada. Narshada? Why would he go there? He believes that the life of Narshada could conceal him. It is good that you bring word of him, but you must not speak of it to others. It will only put him and any other Jedi who remain in danger. How do you contact each other? We cannot. We have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. And what then? Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. I want to talk about something else. You have more questions for me? Uh, what happened to the Jedi? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow, our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Why did you come to Dantooine? Great tragedies, old battlegrounds, places of suffering, all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the Force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. But if you can mask your presence here, couldn't the other Jedi? The Mira Luka world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now the planet is no more. Master Zar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there, and we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo, like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. I want to talk about something else. You have more questions for me? Yes, I do. Um, I need to know why you cast me out of the Order. Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it as not. 
You have more questions for me? Um, why did you cut me off from the force? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. But I've reestablished my connection to the force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Um, at the end of my trial, you and the other Masters said something happened to me. What was it? You have seen the end of your trial. Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. I heard it in a hollow transcription of my trial. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. Don't you think I have a right to know? There is little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He, too, felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. You have more questions for me? Um, do you have anything about Force Bonds? How to end them? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Quite a few, actually. Um, yes, and the connection is lethal. Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem unnatural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. You'd think. But I have reestablished my connection to the Force. Perhaps it is still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is possible... You have more... Um, did all those Sith reveal themselves? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Okay, first of all. They exist. They already attacked me. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. I, they believe me to be a Jedi. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. Yeah. And that means the Jedi may gallop. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? Um, nope. That's really it. I'll be going now. I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. Now watch and learn. This form is a Taru. Because it is such an aggressive fighting style, you should only use it against single opponents. And don't try using this form amidst heavy fire. Nothing is more embarrassing for a Jedi than to be cut down by a stray blaster shot. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. 
Still, your form is sloppy. That good. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. I got a lightsaber for that. Nice. You can swap out people really quick. You and you. Or you. Just say the word. Because I got to upgrade you to your new things. Skills. Bam. Jedi stuff. Let's give you a lot of buoy. Yes. I'm gonna recommend myself through these, but I'm gonna keep track of them. Conditioning, cool. Ooh, energy was that's actually probably fun. I love how At is probably more the jack of all trades than my character is. Is like 15, 16, 22, 10, 16, like those are good stats. Um, you're gonna have a single blade, so I'm gonna give you this one. Two in the record. Force abilities. You're gonna have a double-sided saber because duh. Oh, she can do force jump? Wait, what? How can, mm, okay. Ended. Guardian. Aren't I a guardian? Weapons map. That's the difference. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. That was it. At least get the wrong one. Actually, I'll grip that one too. Mended. Um, Mercantile. Okay. Now I can actually give you stuff. Give you that. Give you lightsaber. Uh, party. I upgraded you. Upgraded you. I think I upgraded you, but I'm not sure. And you know what? I'll take you so I can get your talking shit out of here. Strength, because you're going to need it. Uh, recommended. Here is also really fucking balanced. You know what? We're just gonna just auto you. I don't give two shits. What have you brought me? Considering I saved you, could be a little more grateful. The fact we are even having a conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. That's some questions for you, little shit. Uh, you want me to save the Republic? No, I resolve the situation down to win. Expect my reward. You have done well, and the stability you have caused shall be rewarded. I have arranged a transfer of funds from certain interests within the Republic to you. Thank you. Uh, what else needs to be stabilized? There is the stabilization of Dantooine, the preservation of the restoration efforts on Telos, the political resolution on Onderon, and the unification of a religious power base in the galaxy, either Jedi or Sith. Alright, I have other questions. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Um, let's see. Do you know anything about the HK droids you sent after me? The assassin droids. I have encountered some, purchased the service of others. Why are they hunting me? You know where they're coming from? If you mean produced, no, I do not. I do know that there are a surprise. 
contacting numbers scattered throughout the Republic fleet searching for you. What they will do now that you are found is easy to predict. You mean they're going to come after me? Of course they are. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory-impaired assassination droid will know more about his subsequent generations than I would. Okay, never mind. I want to switch something. Nero for H kicks, I think, because if we insult H, we can get a you know, dialogue. Try that again. Yes. Is there something you wish to do for me? Uh, I have questions for you. You may speak. H -Ks. The assassin droids. I have encountered some. Purchased the service of others. Uh, why are they why? hunting me? Where they're coming from. If you mean produced, no, I do not. I do know that there are a surprising number scattered throughout the Republic fleet searching for you. What they will do now that you are found is easy to predict. You mean they're gonna come after me? Of course they are. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory-impaired assassination droid will know more about his subsequent generations than I would. No, oh, I really thought that HK would have reacted to that. Yes. Um, I want to talk to you about your operations in Narshada. Considering I saved you, you could be a little more grateful. The fact we are even having a conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And, of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. That's some questions. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Um, on your, the yacht, you mentioned Revan. But Revan sought to destroy the Republic. But why? He had limited forces. He had limitless forces. I believe that by whatever means he used to build his armada, he recognized that it was somehow a limited source, or that he was only willing to use it to a point. My prediction is that whatever production facility was being employed, it carried a price that Revan perceived as detrimental to the goals of the Sith. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. Revan didn't need to conquer anything once the Republic was beaten. That is what occupies my calculations as well. I believe that Revan saw a war on another front that we did not, or saw the value in keeping a strong military force. You know where Revan got his forces. That is also a mystery to me. I do not have any evidence upon which to build an answer. It is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably, and after Revan's departure from known space, production ceased completely. It is my prediction that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, there was no such figure left among the Sith. What about Malak? Unlike Revan, Malak demonstrated no concern for the future of the Republic in his attacks. His stratagems were painfully obvious, intending to crush all resistance everywhere. There was little thought beyond the complete destruction of anything that opposed him. He left quite a mess. I'm still trying to assess all the damage. Between the two, I would have preferred Revan rule the galaxy. He right. had foresight in his conquest, a subtlety that Malak did not possess. All right. Um, had some questions. You may speak. Uh, capabilities. What, yeah, what, what capabilities does your droid possess? It has been assigned to guard and protect you. As such, it is well suited for a variety of tasks. It is 
skilled in intimidation, interrogation, and can provide a series of select skills that will make it an effective killing machine. For the most part, it will follow your orders unless they conflict with mine. What skills does it have? This unit comes with a droid scrambler that you may use against mechanized opponents to randomize their defensive and offensive protocols. Use it, and it will cause droids to wage a civil war in their programming, and they will turn on their allies. Its power source is not limitless, but it is enough. In addition, this unit comes equipped with a portable cloaking generator. It will allow it to enter places undetected in reconnaissance mode. Um, this can all be proved an asset. Good to have you staying with us. I mean, floating with us. How droll. What an amusing Jedi specimen you are. Oh, I got some influence. Yay. Yes. Is there something you wish to do for me? Um, talk about your operations. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. I want to ask about Voga. Yeah. But I am certain that in your short sightedness, such eventualities do not bother you. And other questions. You may speak. Um. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Okay. You like to HK anything? Clary, is there someone that you need killed, Master? Yeah, the floating ball behind us. Um. Nope, we got nothing new. So okay, we'll replace Goto. I kind of want Mandalore really. So I'm gonna hop, skip, and a jump up to Nashada to grab the Mandalorians there. Um. Oh shit, there's a lot of fucking stuff. Oh right, I can grab all the resources. That was some intense fighting. I'm glad we both made it through. No, we did. That's for her. Look, and he, he made it through too. Good for him. Nothing over here? Wow, all those bodies in a single... Wow. It's kind of weird. Not a single thing of remains. Huh. Gotta find that suspicious. Let's talk about you. Little sneaky bastard. Let's see your wares. Um, repair kit, you have infinite. No, nothing okay. Boy, hop to Nashida. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Because that would suck. I'll be glad to return to my... They say the Jedi saved us from the mercenaries. I guess we should stop blaming them for the troubles on the ground. Yeah, you should. Stop blaming us for shit we didn't do. It's just common sense. Oh, it's you. I thought you were dead. It was pretty brave of you to stand up to Azkul like that. Your resolve made me finally take action against him. What will you do now? I plan to leave Dantooine with as many of my men as will come with me, and look for some work that is more honorable than wholesale slaughter of civilians. That's good. Thanks for joining in the battle. Your aid did make the difference. I'm happy to hear that. I really am. Thanks again, and good luck to you. Yeah, same. Good for you, dope pack. Good on ya. All the droids dead. Okay, so there's Mandalorians on Dantooine. There's some on Nashada. I think. There isn't any on Corbin. Because there isn't anything on. Um, I 
don't think there's any on Isa's. No, 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 no. Take that back. I don't want that one. I want... Let's see. Stealth run? No. I'm soon. Um. What's this one do? Saving throws. Physical condition. You know what? Yeah, let's just do conditioning. Let's look at the mandos that are on Narshada. Oh, look. I have lost it. For some reason, I cannot fire. Obvious statement. This was not anticipated. I am attempting to access my weapon systems, and I cannot. Alarmed embarrassment. If this gets back to the other units, we will be decommissioned. Yeah, about that. Okay. Oh, it's such a shame. You somehow You somehow fucked me up there. I don't like that. Well, let's go, Mandalore. Now we can talk to you. Greetings, and good day, traveler. On behalf of the Kunda settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Tatooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? Um, you're a damaged droid. What happened to you? My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Sith invasion. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Droid, run self-diagnostic and report. Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Fix the droid's memory unit. Greetings, Jedi. Welcome back to Dantooine. Hey, did that droid just call you a Jedi? Yeah, that's right. Jedi, I've got to tell the others. Um, you know what? I am not a Jedi. The droid is malfunctioning. You are not a Jedi. The droid is malfunctioning. More Jedi tricks. Hey. D don't scoff at Mandalore. That trick is keeping us, you know. Wait, 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 wait. A message from Kelborn? What is it? Um, he's got a message from Kavar. Um, okay, I got the message. Like, we're gonna, we will get there. Yes, General. Ah. Um, I have some questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Why did Rahim not consider the Republic a threat?
Okay, you don't have anything for me. Um, let's see. We talked to them. Yep, yep, yep. All we need to do, again, all we need to do is do Bear Door and um, HK, and it bothers me. Ugh. Go to Narshada. I just need to do Mandalore's little thing, which I didn't do last time, which I feel stupid for. When I was with Mira, I could have did that, but I didn't. It's still funny that Narshada is the poor man's Coruscant. Like, that it, it really is. Has there been any word of her? None yet. I do not understand why she displays such disobedience. You know why. She bears the face of her mother. Why Atris would have sent her on such a mission is something I do not understand. In terms of combat, she is the last among us. In terms of stealth, she is willful and not prone to disguise herself. Her stance, it has too much passion about it. Perhaps that is why Atris sent her. Perhaps it is an exile of her own. Let's grab Mandalore and HK, because I know Beardor will not like us gathering Mandalorians. <laughs> Last thing he wants is more of them in the in the area. HK, Mandalore, let's go. Also, I think the three of us can go to the Jack Tech Tower and just go complete murder hobo. This the docks. Yep. I walked right past it because I looked down for a second. Also, hold on. Um, stabilizing Gita should be able to open a mark there. You should, oh, we should talk to her first. Oh wait, Huzzah. Look at that. Perfect. Didn't go that wrong. Uh, establishing trade you. Settle the problems on Dantooine. If you want to travel there to trade, you can. Um, I'll do my best and let you know. Um, let me see what you have. I found a meme I think you'd enjoy. Oh, Jesus. What is the meme? Um, no, send it to Discord. Just that way I can, um, actually look at it. Because as long as the game's open, I can't click out of it without closing the window. What is it? Ha. Huh. I like that. I like that one a lot. That meme format is just, I, I hope it never runs out. Like, it's such a good format because you can use it for so much. And it doesn't have to be that scene, it could be just that format. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Also, I gotta find out where the speeder is. I know, I know that's like easy influence for Bandor. Do, 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 do. Mandalorians. Another Mandalorian. You're welcome to join us. Our clan has traveled here in search of work. And if we find a working arrangement, then I'm sure you could be included in. I'm not here for any mercenary work. I'm here to return your clan to Duxon, where I am restoring our people to their former glory. Mandalore? But after Revan defeated Mandalore, no new one was chosen. I intend to rectify that error. I have no doubt that you believe that you are Mandalore, but look at the situation we are in now. Anyone could buy a helmet from a swoop track and make such a claim. And the last time Mandalore traveled in the company of non-Mandalorians, we were pledged to Exar Kun. Yo, know, I'm just... I have led myself with him. Actually, prefer to be out of work, mercenary returning to, you know. Indeed, this life is not pleasing to me. Nor is it pleasing to the others of my clan. We long to prove ourselves in battle once again. I heard rumors from Isis about Mandalorian sightings on Duxon. So perhaps there is truth to what you say. Very well, Mandalore. My clan will follow you and make for Duxon. So that another clan might be added to the strength of your army. Excuse us. We must gather the rest of our clan and deliver them the news. Yeah, I got more influence on Mandalore. Okay, so really quick swap out Mandalore. Bandor. Which? Bad. Okay. That was weird. I gotta go find that speeder. I know Bandor's like. Oh, shit. Anything to do with mechanical stuff, Bandor's good with. Also, I'm tempted to make my purple saber silver. I have two silver sabers, like Ahsoka, but nah. I'm gonna stick with the silver and purple. It's for the best. Just an empty room. I think the speeder's down here at the um where the the gang was. If I'm right, we should be have all the parts. No, my favorite for that meme format is the one for uh, they use that format, but they put it to the uh, invincible, and it's just dumb as fuck. That's hilarious. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Avatar's beyond repair. What the fuck? Ugh. God damn it! Son of a bitch. HK's little clip clop clip clop clip clop is so weird. I need to get to the so best best to go right through the middle.
Out of my way. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Yep, you're still alive. Okay. You're fully cured. That's good. They're just sleeping. Oh, speaking of that. Mike, did you see the um, Deadpool reaction video for um, the uh, the NPC video that he's doing this August? I saw that on Twitter today. I was dying. Into the docks. I like how he's actually more blue than not. This I think the most I've actually gotten him towards like a good person. Normally he's in the uh, the gray area at most. Let's go to the Jack Jack Tower and just fuck everyone up. HK, you love senseless slaughter. This should be great for you. And Mandalore, you're Mandalorian, so. Oh my fucking crap. Are you goddamn serious? That's dumb. That is just stupid. Um. Can I go into his droid factory thing? Nope, guess not. Okay. That's curious. Guess we don't have to nurse it up, because fuck me, I guess, huh? Inventory's improved, she will she wants to do under up. Okay. You know I was looking for a good old fashioned fighty dude. I think I can do the quick card thing. That's a quick, easy, shitty um, side quest. What do I need to grab for this one again? That should not have been that long of an audio for that short of a question. Um, can I pass along a message for you? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Also, you. Alana. Little bat dude. Um, what could you possibly have to sell me? Um, how do I know it's worth it? Um, 
um, say before I mount your skin on my ship. Um, why aren't you allowed in the bar? There's money for those still to be seen, especially in the cantina. That I already knew. Zach done? Yeah, that much. Why aren't you allowed in the den? I'll be going now. Lost five credits out of that. I can go in. Next time, a little physical force might be better. Next time, we'll, you know, we'll do it then. Oh, hello. You have caught me at a rare time. Usually there are many players who seek to play. This voice acting is so different. caught me at a moment of quiet. What are you talking about? I fear it is because I am simply not a skilled Kazakh player. I'm afraid protocol droid skills and language interpretation are not something that lend themselves to Kazakh and probability. So why do you play? Why, I cannot help myself. In fact, every time I seek to find the answer to that question, I'm consumed with the need to come here and play Kazakh. I'm concerned that the problem may lie with my memory core. Without routine memory wipes, you know, such degradation is known to occur, leading to instabilities. I fear my obsession with Kazakh is one such corruption. Wait, you said you come here to play Kazakh. Why here? Why, I do not. Would you like to play Kazakh? Would you mind if I take a look? Maybe it can be fixed. I am not sure I wish it fixed. I do find some degree of satisfaction in playing. Would you like to play? Checks the droid for oddities. Unusual module attached under the arm. Ooh. Look at the module to my data pad. Okay. Point of the memory core, the module is set send burst transmission at set interval. The signal was omnidirectional and therefore received remains anonymous. You have caught me at a rare time. Usually there are many players who seek to play, but you are fortunate to have caught me at a moment of quiet. Um, why so many players? I fear it is because I am simply not a skilled Kazakh player. I'm afraid protocol droid skills and language interpretation are not something that lend themselves to Kazakh and probability. So why do you play? Yep, yep, yep. Um, I can take a look at your programming. I am not sure I wish it fixed. I do find some degree of satisfaction in playing. Would you like to play? Um. There is obviously a problem in your programming. You should have it fixed before the damage spreads to your other areas. I suppose you're right. I wouldn't want the problem to spread to my many other functions. Just let me access your central processing core. Oh, that feels much better. I cannot believe I went on and on about such a foolish game. Thank you, truly thank you. Yeah, that's one done. Like, I remember if you do this just right, you can not play any single person in Pazak and consider be the champion. Um, 
Got some friends waiting up front. Um. There was a Twi'lek. She was very attractive. That's two Pazak players out. We just condemned a man in there. Yeah, that was... That was cool. Manan Sakapuna was zero to gay. I've never had a warm head come on to me before. That's kind of rude. Um, well, yourself? Um, you can cool your engines long enough to play a game Pazak. Three words, English, this long. Where are we going now? Major personality, hold on. Let the likes of me in here? Wow, rude. Rude as fuck. Well, there's a way to, like, essentially outsmart her. Uh, I've never had a warm head come on to me before. Um, you my cards goodbye. Um, like sure, I'm just gonna buy all the cards. Um, yep, yep, yep. Um. We have engines. Let's play. Wager. That. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Um, and turn. So we need to get to 20. 16. 18. 3. Okay, so we just have to get to 20. That's easy. Ten, okay. I actually may win a game. Six and five. Okay, Twenty nineteen. Figure. Fourteen. Okay. Yes. And turn and five. Die. Eighteen. Now I just gotta make sure they go over twenty. Ah. This is actually intense. Now that I actually know what I'm doing.
Deutschen Nummer runter. Weil sie Sag ich sah. Uh, I'll be going now. Um, aggressive Twilight has offered to play Pazaki. She seems like a major personality. I beat her though. I just did. I just beat her. Um, no apologies for Pazak. That was it. Yeah, okay, that was it, I guess. Cool. Um, yeah. Sweet. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. I've won a few matches, yeah. All right, champ. Who are you again? Um. Uh, do, do, do. You win every time. Why do you play? Um. Perhaps this time you stopped having fun. Every time, though? Really? If you aren't having fun winning, maybe you should lose a game. So what is this one? Oh, that was it. No more champ, lose no more. Query. I want to like I want to intimidate him away. Oh well. So now there's an option we can actually just threaten the poor guy. Oh well. We did everything we can on Nashina, I guess. the way to the ship no that's to the refugees we don't want that i guess we'll go answer kelborn because oh my god shit's going down excuse me spare a few credits friend um Of course, you take back credits. Much appreciated, friend. Life's hard in the refugee center, and this should go a long way to helping. Uh, how do you know? Look, one other thing. It's obvious. No I'm not new. Not All interested. Right, take the five credits and go. Shut up. Don't question my charity. I'm actually surprised we didn't get like a random cutscene. Yo, you. Um, how did you get here, T3? You deliberately avoiding answering. Why? Uh, let me check your core. I'll be careful. 
Promise. I'm gonna make sure you're all right. Just let me check, all right? You all right? And play the message. T3, you have been with us since Terrace. Without you, we would never have escaped that place. And for that, I thank you. I'm leaving this message inside you because I have seen glimpses of the future. And the bond that he and I share does not allow him to hide everything from me. More of his memories have returned, and they trouble him. He has remembered something. Something on the edge of the galaxy. And he believes that he must go there to end it. But I am afraid for him. Afraid that he may not return. I need you to be the beacon, T3. If he is lost out there, on the edge of the galaxy, if he finds whatever terrible thing he has seen, then he may not survive. If he doesn't make it back, then I need you to return to the Republic. Find help. If you cannot find me, then seek out other Jedi. The Republic I can't lose him, even if he believes he is protecting me. Um, friend of yours? Um, who was the person the hologram was talking about? Missing friend. What happened to your old friend? Why aren't you with him? Because he could not take anyone with him, even the woman in the hologram. And he left you... I'm sorry, T3. But you did help. You found us. T3, if we can stop the Sith, there's this hope after all. Um, that message what you were trying to hide. Didn't tell me where the Ebonhawk came from. Um, but why don't you have that information? Deleted? By who? You deleted it. Why? You deleted it, you don't know why, and you can show all you can show me is this old hologram as an explanation. <sighs> don't be sorry, you probably had good reasons or trying to protect someone. Okay, all those points to T3 just from that. How are you doing, Dodo? Yeah, what do you want? That's yeah, funny. In KOTOR 1, he looks a lot taller. Um, never mind. He's... Query. No, I know you don't. No, you don't. Yes, General? You don't have anything either. You two are just like the ones that are holding out. It bothers me. <clears throat> Fun part about the next thing, like we get to do two different things in the set area, like they split the party automatically.
Which sucks. I'm just not supposed to split the party. Everyone, let's uh, dad all over to the Mandalorian camp. Yeah, Dwar, because I need you. Pitch kicks, I need you. I need you too, specifically, because I need your influences. About time you showed up. Mandalore ordered me to report here. You were able to go on suction. Let's go to your camp. Did Kavar say what he wanted? He wouldn't tell me anything. Just that he wanted to see you. Hey, Mr. T he said Mr. Urgent, but that doesn't matter now. Sorry. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. How can we help Queen Talia? I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible, and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies, Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How? We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. Zuka's satellite relay has also picked up several shuttle launches with old Sith transmitter IDs. Some sort of staging base, perhaps. The Sith forces must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. I have to lead the group heading to the Royal Palace, don't I? You... you are correct. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. Um. Yep, I'm just chilling. Yeah, same here. Pretty much all you can really do, I guess. Let's see. Expedition through the jungle. Um. I want to say, mm, I want to say this us. I will serve as you wish. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Probably for the best, I would say. Because she doesn't activate mines, Mira. Hmm. Okay. And who else? Wow, you sound like you're judging me, Kaya. Um... Honestly, probably Atten. If you say so. Now, are you certain of your choices? Not now. You just made me really fucking question everything. Um, yes, I'm certain. Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. Um, I'm ready. They should head out now. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Yes. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. 
My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. All right. Level up this us. You know, how's your week been, uh, Totoro? No, 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 no. Take that away. We don't need that. Oh, wait. No, though, actually, no, we have a do. Never mind. I thought that was Sniper Strike. My bad. I misread the, uh, thing. Uh, yeah, let's increase your strength. Uh, boop. Powers recommended. That was good, yeah. I haven't upgraded her in forever. Actually, I don't think I've actually used her yet. Actually, no. We need regen force. Okay. Good. We're good. You're good. And let's put put that and excuse me master robe how may i serve so lead on did we pick mandalore to lead the jungle with Beador and this us i'm sorry um normally i would send Beador, but since he's not a jedi yet it's really bugging me i'm kind of like trying to keep him from doing anything that could screw with him and mandalore i usually bring with me to um isa's I usually send Freya, Mandalore, and the Exile down at this moment. So that's just me. There really is no wrong setup. As long as the party you send can handle itself. My life is yours. Like right here, Mira. I'll be back in a second. Stealth and recovery. And I'm sure I never played the modded version. Um, I've done it a few times. Um, there it does make parts harder, like in the modded version with like the restored content. The okay, but yeah, in the restored content mod, mod, Narshadah's harder. It's a little outdated, but it'll do the job. If anything moves within six meters of that, then they know they've got visitors. Someone skilled with a stealth field generator can get by it, but that's about it. But if they set off any of those mines, it'll still send the signal. So, you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle? She's Good. a Mandalorian too, dude. But all of you must pass through its perimeter, and undetected would be better. Yeah, for this playthrough, we have the restored content and the um, droid planet mod installed. Um, let's see. person that can use stealth field can probably also disable it. Avoid the mine. How's it harder? Um... There's a bit of both. Um, like, a lot of this, this restored content adds a little more, like, smaller quest dialogue, DC stuff. The Also, there's a few more enemies you encounter. There's, it doesn't make it drastically harder, but you do notice a difference. Like, I played the modded version, then tried the vanilla, because I forgot to turn the mods on. Nor should I blew through in, like, half the time on the vanilla. I wasn't trying as much. I'll be back in a second. It's only Narshada, though. I think it's because a lot of stuff I took out of that planet was like they just didn't finish it. So when the restored content, it's like, oh, here's all the stuff. It's also why um, you're supposed to do Narshada first because you get most of your party, unlock HK when you're done. And when you leave, you should have your lightsaber and a lot of your Jedi stuff already done. So that way by Duxin and Corbett and Dantooine, you're already pretty much halfway to max out in every capacity.
if you have this on Steam, I totally recommend getting the restored content and uh, M478 uh, mod installed. And just enjoy what the game was supposed to be if they actually had the time to finish it. Uh, let's see. You know what? Detonation pack. Cool. But yeah, no, the, the order is supposed to be Nashada, Duxin, Dantuin, Korban. And if you have the restored content in M478, you will get Korban, then go to M478, then finish the game. Um, yeah, I'm using keyboard mouse. I don't have an Xbox controller, and I know that this game is from 2003, so I'm not going to try to guess for a controller. Turret generator, yes. Let's, re let's uh, cause it to blow up. No more turrets for them. Temple is huge. Intruders, kill them. Connected. Wait, I have the mod modded version of my Mac, and I can't get the Dual Shocked. Yeah, no, it's it's because of how the game is. The controllers just do not work unless it's an Xbox One. Um, PS, I mean, so I mean, PlayStation ones just don't want to work. I've tried every version of my PlayStation controllers; it just doesn't fit. I'm good to go. Just say the word. So I'm just convinced it's not. It's not meant to be. It's unfortunate too because the controller would make this game way more fun sometimes. Uh, slice into the computer. Commands. Run the foothold scenario. Upload area schematics. Um, active turrets and wardroids will eliminate all organic intruders. Ooh. Nah, the keyboard mouse isn't that bad. Like, it's the basic um, WASD mouse for movement. Um, like, you literally just, it's essentially like playing Minecraft. You don't need to do much. Xbox controller. Um, yes. Xbox controllers should work. Like, the game was designed on Xbox, so that's the controller that should work. Oh, God damn it, man. I don't have one, so I can't confirm if it works on the Steam version, but that's the one that it's supposed to. Work. Turn off the generator. Also, let's uh, heal up everyone. Uh, boost all those power, speed, skills, bye bye buoy. I want to give you. I don't want to. Yeah, get a lightsaber. 
All of our Jedi's are too close range. We need someone with uh we need to, we need to throw some sabers. Not enough lightsabers are being thrown. Ready? I hear you. Oh shit. This is actually like wrecking. Usable life support pack. Atten, stop dying. Please. Okay. Let me turn off those generators because, uh, yeah, that would suck. That's another one for me. Good to go. Uh, heal. Okay. okay. Let's move out. Not have heal, you don't have heal. I hear you. My life is yours. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. I wish I could just... Yeah, I, say, I wish I could just turn them on and take their stuff. Chains. Let's go Force Lightning. Time to take you down to size. Where was the Sith? I'll speed him up. Rally! What'd you get, you little shit? Let's take his stuff. Okay. Moving to the temple we are. Head into the temple and clear it out. Any and all Sith wannabes. Oh, hello. Let's settle this. Need a workbench. I don't have anything updated for these lightsabers. Oh, hello. My Let's settle. Shit, 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 shit. Oh boy, not good. Um, Atten, do you mind? Fuck!
Yeah, I think right, we have to do all of this again. Turn the message. Yep, 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 yep. Friend of yours. I don't understand why you're concealing it. I understand. I think. Friend of yours. Uh, who was it talking about? Another missing friend. What happened? Did not take anyone with them. Uh, is that message what you're trying to hide? Um, doesn't tell me where it came from. I don't you have the information. It's deleted by who? You deleted it. Why? It's an don't be sorry. Okay. Good thing I already did all that. Um, I'll be right back. I need to run to the bathroom, guys. BRB, get up yourself, stretch, get a drink if you haven't, and I'll be back in just a moment.
All right. <clears throat> we're back, we're back, we're back. Again, my bladder and my stomach appreciate your patience. Hope you guys got yourself a snack and a drink as well. Did it? Go do it now. I gotta say, the graphics hold up. Well, like, they kind of they, they don't look bad for 2005. You can say they don't look that great the cutscene wise, but it, I think they do. Again, this is not the cutscenes were not changed by the mods at all. Why do you need an escort? Let's go to your camp. Me, then. You received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know how good their offer is anymore. Um, did Kavar say what he wanted? He wouldn't tell me anything. Just that he wanted to see you. He said it was urgent, but that doesn't matter now. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. How many times have we completed this game? Um. Dark side lights. Fifteen times? Um. I've been playing it since it first first came out back in the Xbox. Um, so I played it a lot vanilla. I've done it a few times modded. I've done dark side, light side. I've done canon. I've done legends. Well, canon being like what it was supposed to be. Like I I, I, I've done a lot of different versions. Her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible, and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies, Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. This is yes, the second time have. I've streamed it, though. How picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. Zuka's satellite relay has also picked up several shuttle launches with old Sith transmitter IDs. Some sort of staging base, perhaps. The Sith forces must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. I have to lead the group hang the palace, don't I? You... you are correct. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. Someone must send Atten first. Hacking through beasts and jungles? That sounds like a job for me, as usual. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Um, fully completed six, seven times. Yeah, that's not bad. Like, this game has a lot of replayability. Um, like I said, I'm actually going to send Atten, Mira. Hmm, okay. And who else? And I'm going to send HK. Not the most subtle choice. 
Now, are you certain of your choices? Yeah, I'm certain. Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. Yeah, I'm ready. They should head out. Actually, uh, yeah, 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 they're good. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Aizen. But no, I think Star Wars game wise, the only game I've not played. Um, no, I think I've played every Star Wars game that's ever came out. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, no, I think I've done, I think I've done them all. Playing Andromeda, nice. I have heard so many mixed opinions on that, I just, I have like no view of it. I've never played a Mass Effect game, so all I know is that people either love it or hate it. My mod Mike is uh, currently replaying Legendary Edition. that on instead that these don't work so we're gonna do and do that I have mixed opinions but it's not something wrong with it that's all that really matters like for a game like Mass Effect you really can't ask for more than that you really can't Say the word. You good to go. I didn't put the uh, stealth belt on you. I'll be back in a second. But no, between KOTOR 2, Fallout New Vegas, and um, I want to say yeah, Final Fantasy X, top three RPGs. Interjection. That's a primitive security system meat bag. It scans its immediate vicinity for anything it perceives as a threat. One of its many faults is that it can't detect stealth field generators. So you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle? Good. But all of you must pass through its perimeter, and undetected would be better. Make a de um, the same person used the stealth field can disable it. Avoid the mines. If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated, then we shouldn't even bother. So go back to stealth. Back we'll go one by one and take the mines. Now, I keep saying one day I'm going to go actually try Mass Effect, but until I can buy the Legendary Edition, it'll wait. And I say that only because if I'm going to get it, I want the Legendary so I can just play through them all in one go, not have to wait in between. I played some games like I played one, then had to wait for this, to buy the second ones. The wait in between made me not want to do the next part. And I was just like, well, that's unfortunate. And it's one of the reasons why I couldn't get into The Witcher because I didn't play one or two. 
which everyone says, oh, you don't need to. And I'm like, yeah, well, I do. The perimeter sensor appears to be active. It hums quiet. You know what? Demo. Blow it up. Ready to serve. I hear you. Good job, Mira. Um, turn it off. Atlas to a squishy new Jedi. He doesn't know how to do all those good things. Ready? I'll be back in a second. I wonder if I can actually stealth my whole way over there. Like if I can stealth my whole way up, I'd be impressed. Did I get Did not expect that, but apparently now I'm on stealth. Not good. Um So guys, about the whole just appearing in front of you thing. Let's move. Bye bye. Yeah, running back to you guys. Intruders, kill them! <laughs> Ready to serve. We tried that. I can't believe we actually tried to make that work. <laughs> Like, there was an attempt made. I don't know what kind of attempt, but there was an attempt made. Let's heal up. Ready? Yes, Master. I hear you. Okay. Um, thermal, thermal. Oh, oh, shit. Knocks that guy on his ass. So squishy. Why must you all be squishy? Excuse me. Do you mind? I'm sh oh, that you messed up. I thought you fell. Oh, right, as long as Atten is up the last one, you will always get back up. I forgot about that.
very cunning ability. Let's turn off the droids so we don't have to deal with them. Turn off. Yes, Master. I hear you. Really quick. Ready? Yes, Master. Upgrade you. Update you. Um, I need something actually sturdy. But you know what? I'm gonna go with. We're gonna go with push. It's la push, baby. Not good odds, not good odds. Target acquired. Oh, I hear you. That was too close. You're a stop dial. Already learn anything other than Mira stop being squishy. That was a bit more than we probably should have had to deal with. We really should have had my character teach you how to the balls. Some remains. Okay, we're good. Everyone is clear. Right now, HK is lit the tank. And we're thankful for it. I'm good to go. Take a Say the word. Um. You know what? Whirlwind.
Pushing him back. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, don't, don't launch it yet. Come on. Did you far enough? That's good. Back to separate you guys and don't worry about as much damage. That was my main concern was separating the two. That did not last. <laughs> Good, fire. Good happen. Bam. I hear you. First of all, oh, here's a power shield. Fuck. What do you have? Ooh, cooling lens. That's good. Ready? Ready to serve. Say the word. Ugh. They're getting a little better. They just they're still squishy. Go a little faster. Let's get inside. Thankfully this temple. Tomb, what do you want to call it, is not difficult. I had to run to catch up with you. You've made impressive progress. The Sith camp lies in ruins. I told Kelborn of your progress. The rest of your squad is already en route to Isis. Also, Kex checked our sources for any information about this place. Kex believes that this is the tomb of Freedom Nad. We knew it was somewhere on this moon. We had no idea how close it was to our camp. Was free to nad. Uh, some sort of fallen Jedi. He conquered Onderon long ago and became their king. The royal line is directly descended from him. That part of Onderon history the citizens try to leave buried and forgotten. How could you have missed it? Our priority here wasn't exploration. The mission was salvage and force, and to do so covertly, we have successfully pursued those objectives. Zuka didn't have our long-range sensors operational either. If this camp hadn't been sending messages, we may never have found it. Is that all you know about this too? Freedom Nad was a dark Jedi. The stories say he was far worse than Revan and Malak ever were. This place is tainted, and the Sith presence here makes the danger great. I got a bad feeling about this place. Sith and ancient tombs are never a good combination. I am returning outside. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. Beat each other up. Yeah. Palm strike, palm strike. Kick, kick. The time for practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb, and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. 
The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the price of failure. Men, follow me. The price of failure is about $59.99, which you can uh, direct to my Patreon. If you do the $59.99 tier, you too can vote on what game I stream in the future. You think I'm kidding, I'm being serious. Everyone down. Good job. Parts. More parts. Also, no one else was to talk to me and touch that dark side shit. Broken droid. We hold on. No, leave it alone. Yes, master. Seventeen. Oh. Ready? Miera, what's your repair skill? Yeah, you. I hear you. I think that's why you bring Mira. Mira is the qualified one for all these things. Let's upgrade all of this stuff. I don't like the bronze collar. I'm gonna be really good. I really don't like it. Um, we're gonna give Atten. You know what? We give him Viridian. And Mira is gonna get orange because of her past. Yep. Mm -hmm. If we're working on an old computer terminal, appears to have been dialed. Delicate operation. Attempt to repair. <clears throat> okay. Last equation missing mathematical operators. Just needs to have proper operators in each slot to make the equation balanced. Oh, great, PEMDAS. Okay. 13 minus 1 is 12. Okay. Duxon Temple. I want to I, I want to make sure because it's been forever since I've been in high school. Because of PEMDAS, you do parentheses first. So... You multiply those two because it'll give you 12. Then you would minus 8 to make it 4. Plus 9. Give me 13. Multiply by 1 stays at 13. Okay. Yeah, you can still do math. I may not have been in high school for like 10 plus years, but I can still do math. Hey, more crystals. Sweet. Our buddy, how's he doing? Let's help our buddy out. Okay. He's on his own. He, he doesn't need us anymore.
Which gun are you using? Oh, wait. Switch, switch, switch guns, switch guns, switch guns. Like, why are you not doing much damage? Because you're using destroy and destroy. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, good kick in the face. Good format, good form. Mirror, you're so tiny. Ooh, some life support packs. Nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's okay. Attempt to repair. Six core modules, A through F. Yep, yep. Set the dinosaur report. Uh, okay. Let's see how modules reported. Uh, okay. Web debt. Which module do I replace? Um, if I remember right, I think it's always when in doubt, go with C. Oh! Nice. Now let's go. Let us hope our friend. Get to go on in and beat the crap out of board guys. Huh, that was a lot easier than I expected. Okay. You know what? If you're not gonna come up here to me, I'm not gonna go down to you. You guys can come up you can come get us. We got shit to do. Oh stop being an ass. Cause that's not sketchy looking. Giant purple vortex thingy. Good fighting, good fighting combo. Like we're doing good. Get to feel this, I think it's too much damage. Oh, I guess Vissas was the problem because we swatched we swapped her for um HK and we're just barreling through these guys. Those are all good things. Lever. Pull the lever, Atten. Nothing's over there. We ignored the giant cloud of misty doom. That's dark side shit. We don't want that. 
Dark side stuff, bad for us. Ooh, burp pine. What the fuck is this thing? It's creepy. Weird. Weird and I don't like it. Oh, hi. Make sure the medical board doesn't die. Like we just cannot lose the game. Let's settle this. Okay, good, you're not dead. Don't want to lose Medi. Hey, Medi's, Medi's keeping us safe. Can't afford to lose him. I wish we could repair him more. I don't think we can. Still down there? They're still down there? Okay. If they don't want to come up and get me, then I'm not going to make them. Ooh, Frieden Mads Blade. I just realized, can I talk to HK? Query, is there oh. someone that you need killed, Master? I was kind of hoping, like, he would be like, you are not my master. Fuck off. for him then, because Amir's got that one. Good job, team. Good job. Good job. Amir's got that one. I got this one. Sweet. Is there anything in this room? That droid is really keeping us alive beyond the, the Call of Duty. Uh, I've already unlocked. Oh, don't have to do it once. That's kind of dumb. You only have to do one side. I feel like you should do both. Oh well. 200 credits. Nice. I don't know, like, with the, how big the door is, it should require both levers be pulled. It's just a thought. Oh, hello. Uh, Those remains. I guarantee there's gonna be people at the end of this thing.
either gonna be coming towards us or they're already there. Get to there. Again, Medic. This one commando is just not dying. Fuck. Okay. That one commander was just not having it. It's just like, nah, bro, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep standing. Didn't care how much we hit him with. He was just not going down. Uh, what's this? Droid inter interface. Ooh. Cool. I never knew that was an ability. I never looked. Which is my bad. We're gonna give you heal, Mira, because you need stop being squishy. Oh, these are just the regular fighters. Okay. I also noticed that one Sith we fought here has dropped a lightsaber. A shame. Captain, we need just one more moment. We're almost through. Failure, Captain, will not be tolerated. As you command, my lord. This should be Mira's just charging in like a badass. He does not give two fucks. Ended powers. Um, can I do it? It's a little bad. You know, I always give it to him because, whoops. We need someone to be like the actual healer of this trio. Mirror's taking damage after damage. Okay. Break the ritual now. You're too late. We have done what needed to be done. Soon, Onderon shall fall, and with it, the Republic shall die. What is this? Uh, of course, the Force has guided you here. It echoes within you, yet I sense it is untrained. It is good you have sought us out. This tomb is strong with the dark side. Here is where you will take your first steps on the path to your destiny. Um... Untrained? What do you mean? I'm being trained by, um, the Exile. An adept has managed to come so far. Incredible. You have within you the potential to wield the Force. I'm not speaking of the ways of the Jedi or their flawed teachings. Their order was rooted in weakness. They would have you become a puppet of the Force. They would have you deny the strength of your emotions. The strength of your own will. Can't you feel the power of this place? It echoes through you like a second voice. Accept it. I still have the Jedi. You're wrong about them. The Jedi? The Jedi has no family. 
No childhood, no emotion. They are dead to the Force. And themselves. They want drones, slaves to the Jedi Council. At least we live. We feel the universe around us. We are the masters, not mere tools of the Force. Can't you feel the power? Here, within the walls of this tomb. Just embrace it. Don't limit your potential. I will not be tempted. That path leads to the dark side. Okay. Instead of freedom and power, you have chosen death. So be it. So. Uh, armor, you have Chani shield. Droid one. Oh. I love how you can just inject stims into a droid, because that totally makes sense. Shield. Oh, <laughs> that's close. That is so very close. Ready? <laughs> Run down. Credits. One lightsaber. Come on, really? That's just, just one of them gave me their lightsaber. Aim. Why is it Why do they give me so little lightsabers? Whatever. Fuck you, game. Ceremonial shield. What's that do? Ooh. Ceremonial warding shield made to contain the dark spirit of freedom, Nad Master. Master Ar Arca. He is intended definitely. Ooh. Ooh. That is very neat. Got Freed and Nad's shit. What's he gonna do? Haunt us over it? I'm ready to go. What happened with Jason? After you left, your squad. Zaga said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth. Oh, that's totally fine, dude. Lurking is totally fine. A salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. I assure you. They won't know what hit them. Um, what exactly is a basilisk? The basilisk war droid is the epitome of weapon technology, state-of-the-art weaponry, armor, and maneuverability. That's not a basilisk, though. Weapon systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. The fighters won't be able to stop that. What kinds of unimportant support systems? Minor systems. Nothing you need concern yourself with. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. All right, so can't use HK, Atten, or Mira. So my thing is gonna be, you know what? I'm actually gonna just take Beador and Mandalore, cause you know what? Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna take those two. Yeah, those two. 
Screw Kraya. Fuck her. Don't need her. Here? Mandalorians are attacking the city! Talia has made an alliance with the Mandalorians. Men, destroy them. However, this whole part will be next time. Because I'm here to, for the is going to be the duration of a lot, so it's better to do it on its own time. We've already hit three and a half hours. Um, if you guys enjoyed tonight's stream, I appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably not be playing KOTOR 2. I'm probably going to play either either Command and Conquer or something else. I'll let everyone know when I know. Thursday, we should be doing Dark Souls again, recording-wise, so I will not be streaming. And Friday, correct. I will not be streaming because I believe... The D&D game I mod every Friday will be back from their little hiatus. So, tomorrow will not be KOTOR. Thursday and Friday will probably not be streams. If that changes, I'll let everyone know. So have a lovely time. If you haven't already done so, as the, the droid says, check out the... Oh, it's not that one. Um, I should have said so earlier. No, it didn't. I'll just, you know, do it right here. Social media. I think it's one word. Yeah, it is. Check out the beacons. Has my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my everything. All the things you don't have me on. Really great to keep track of all what I'm doing, all that. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a lovely evening. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.